Hi everybody, this is Louisa here. I just wanted to share with you some more projects. I have another um, pocket letter to share with you and I also have a few little bottle caps that I worked on. So um, I use my DigiKit Tea with Teddy add-on and I also use some of the words from the print and cut crafters word art sheets that I also have available. Um, I have a lot of ATC cards and journal cards in my shop including that word art which will work perfectly with these pocket letters so um, I do have a whole section that's just called ATC so anything related to that will be in that section including the word art so if you do ATC's only and not the pocket letters those are perfect for that as well if you do a little you know little artsy things on them um, I also used a few items from Natasha's scrapbook corner, so I will post a link not only to my shop but to her shop. I used a little bit of her washi tape, and this is a fabric washi tape that she's got. And I used this one here, so yeah, I only use a little bit, but um, yeah. I used some of this little, there you go, leaf appliques. I used, I think, one of these little hearts pieces that she has. She's got a lot of these little tiny pieces and it's perfect for this and for bottle cap images as well. I use these little pink and they're like bling and um, I'm sorry it's not focusing. Little flowers. I use one of these bling with the pearl center from her shop and also one of these. This was actually a gift that she sent. Clear acrylic flower. And I think that was it. Yeah. So, you know, I, I broke out a few things from her shop for these projects. And then, of course, I printed out my kits. Now, the Tea with Teddy kit comes with two sets of ATC cards. One would be the pattern, like a full pattern card. And then one that has this white background. It's like a like a square of just white, which do, they're like the journal cards. It also comes with four envelopes, and these are just two of them. I used the other two on another project, which I can't share with you right now. These envelopes, they're meant to, f um, the cards are meant to fit into your envelopes, and you can do little embellishment cards and stick them in here, button cards and whatever, and they will fit with the buttons on there. Um, and you can use this for anything else, journal cards and whatnot. So I will be using these when I'm done with some of my little embellishments. For the bottle caps, I use these pink bottle caps here, which I flattened in my um, Big Kick. <clears throat> these bottle caps I picked up at Tuesday morning. I don't know if it, they're bottle cap ink. And there's 12 in there, so I used five for this. Again, I flattened it out first, then I made my hole with one of the um, Tim Holtz drill press thingy. And the images came out of that same set. It comes with bottle cap sized images. It comes with domino sized images. It comes with the two sets of the ATC cards and four envelopes. So it's a whole little kit which goes with Tea with Teddy. So you might want to grab both. <laughs> um, what else? The word art that you see here, or the words I should say, this little cutout um, that I mentioned comes with, um, comes in. Uh, is from, sorry, <laughs> from my shop and it's called Print and Cut Crafters Word Art and I had printed out a few already onto colored paper, I mean colored card stock. So the one that I used for here, I did it on a cream colored card stock and it comes with tons of words like celebrate, dream, hope, today, sweet, peace, month, for, from, date, joy, um, Handmade by, there's a few sections that I have handmade by where I left space so that you can sign your name. Plus the ones that I used here. So this one I had already just cut down to strips so I could just chop off the words. Alright, so <clears throat> let me um, scoot some things over so I can start sharing with you what I did here. Let me show you the bottle caps first. So... I can get that out of the way. Now I used um, my glossy accents to adhere and to cover the images to get the little bit of shine. And I put my images down 
and while it was still wet, I sprinkled on this Stampendous Frontage Multi Crystal Glitter. It's got like a couple of different sizes of you know glitter in there. It's really pretty. So the images that I use is the flower and a teapot. And when I sprinkled it on using my little bone folder, I just take the tip of this dip it into the glitter and then just go around so that it doesn't cover the center just around the edge with the glitter because I want to show the image I don't want to cover it up it's a little blurry right there but you can kind of get it and I used a couple of Natasha scrapbook corner pieces on, on a couple of these there's the cupcake oh there and I put that little piece while everything is still wet and then just let it dry. Here's another one with the flowers is the teacup. There we go. And the last one is just a butterfly. So. And I intend on putting those in these probably on another one of these cards. So that's probably how I'll use it. And then again you're going to get all of this stuff. Plus, I might do one of these. Maybe this one, Domino again. Um, I've done one before. Um, okay, so back to this. I don't have any of the stamps out, so I can't tell you what I used. But I could say that I think all the stamps that I use are recent ones that I recently purchased, except for this dress form and this frame. So, like this set here, the I'm not sure if the hand comes with it or not, but I know the pen and the, um, I always point the wrong direction, and this come together. So now on this particular thing, you'll notice, number one, I put a tassel on there, which is holding a tag that actually has my name, state, year, and pocket letter number three. I finally decided to um, number them because I just, I started seeing people numbering there. So I wish I had done that to the first two, but that's okay. And I just used scraps from my collection. It's really pretty. I just cut out my own little tag and backed up back to back the papers and it's really pretty and ink the edges. And I did use vintage, no I'm sorry, where did I use? Antique linen on everything. Just a little bit to make it a little more vintage looking. So this particular pocket um, the back has the note or actually it's a card but all the cards that I had printed out and cut out I backed them with each other and they're coordinating so as you can see this purple or lilac one coordinates with the journal card that goes with it so I just glued them together and then did my little note for you inked all of that as well stamped everything and then I'll show you the back later on this one here Oh, I forgot. I used the Prima um, Bling here on the outside, and I finished a package with um, this project here, so I'm glad about that. I'm trying to just finish up packages of things before I open something new. So I just did that there on top. And on the outside of this one is one of those NSK appliques, and then one of her clear um, acrylic flowers. And then I used the um, journal card for this one so that I could stamp on it and you could see what it says and it's some people strengthen others just by being the kind of person they are um, on the back of this is washi which you'll see later on this one I have put the thing that says bling because not only is there bling on the front which is actually see she can use this because it's still on the backing some pearl bling in um, like a flower thing and there's more in the back which you'll see in a minute and on the outside I just hot glued on a Michael's flower a butterfly one of these and um, that was pretty much it with that one and then here I'm gonna have to zoom in I can't do this this is not easy and it took me three days to make too if I didn't say that already pain in my you know what but I love the results so here, I love this one. I used the washi tape from NSK. Behind that is a doily from Hobby Lobby. One of these that I cut. And 
layered a stamp. I had stamped out this thing, one of the new um, stamps that I had picked up. Just cut it out and then inked it. And then a Joann's button where I just cut off the shank. I just love the way that came out. And then here, now this one is actually not adhered down because she could use this as an embellishment. It's a little um, flower, what do you call them? Like a rosette flower. And it's actually, uh, Bonnie sent me these in our one of our swaps, I think our last one. I've been using those up, but very, you know, like one at a time. And I just stuck on there the NSK applique and then the bling from her shop as well. So all she's got to do is pull this out and then use it on a project. And then she's left with the card. On this one, again, I used the side that has the journal section and put on some of the mold, molds that I had created using NSK molds. This one and this one is from her shop, but this one I can't remember what the name is. I think it's a Mod Melt mold, the little key. And then I just added on there a little extra, some of those pieces from NSK as well. So all the person has to do is pop these off and then use them in her project. And I did use Mod Melts to create these molds. Down here, um, I just stamped on this frame, cut it out and inked it up with the vintage linen, antique linen, I'm sorry. Popped on one of the words that says buttons because on the reverse there's actually buttons. And it's all on pop dots. This is all on pop dots. This image here, which is also a stamp onto one of my scrap papers that I had from another collection. And then I put on bling from Prima on the outside of this. Because this is on pop dots, a little dress form. Here's another card. And then I just stamped on do more than you need to care more than you have to learn more than is required and another one of NSK appliques and then another one of her little um, acrylic flowers on this one here this is where my about me is my little letter about myself and um, that paper clip is just kind of holding it back there this is a mold that I created from I don't remember which mold that came from, I'm sorry. But I did use air dry clay. I want to say it's another NSK mold because I bought a lot of her molds. Another one of the word things from my shop. A scrap of bling that came from this, this piece here that I added in there because I couldn't fit the whole package in there. So I decided to use it. The other piece of doily from Hobby Lobby and then cute little bow from Hobby Lobby as well. It's just like a burlap. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that I did this in washi tape from Hobby Lobby and I just taped both sides. Took another envelope, placed it on top, and then punched my holes. So I've been seeing people do that a lot as well. Okay, so now back up to here. So most of this is the goodies. Back here is a zippy bag with some more bling. That's that section that said bling on the front. And these are little bling buckles. It's actually metal and bling, not the plastic type. And I use a little washi tape to hold it in place. And you can see the background paper is one of those journal cards again. I added washi tape by using another one of those um, playing cards with the Eiffel Tower. Use the washi word from my um, digi and just you know coordinating washi tapes I love the cupcake and that's gonna go with that maybe I should stick it in here what do you think I don't know yeah. <laughs> and over here is the card that I decorated using where is that where is it <laughs> okay it was right here here it is Using one of these cards this is the third time I've used this. I love these little cards. Perfect size. And it comes with envelopes, but they don't fit. So I'll use the envelopes for something else. So all I did was alter one of these little blank cards using my paper from the other set. I think that's the Shabby Chic uh, tags. I can't remember which one, but... It's still coordinated with everything. And then one of the thank you stickers from Hobby Lobby. 
This looks like that. <clears throat> that was the rest of that Prima bling that I used up. And then I punched out a butterfly with some more scraps. And added this little pearl that looks like the body that came off of one of these blings. I don't know which one. Um, so it is a card. So you can... I'm going to cover what I wrote, but... It's all ink in the vintage. I love these little cards. They're so cute. I mean, in the antique linen. Over here, I just um, cut out some pieces, some of the dies that I had just recently bought. That's the little tiny Polaroid and a little camera. So these, and that has a little heart in there. So these, um, I just used coordinating papers. A couple of extra Michael's butterflies for her to use. And then some of the coin envelopes, actually one that I have. I got tons of these and now I can use them. And I'm probably going to share a whole bunch as well. And I just threw in some stamped images and I wrote it in pencil so that she could erase it once she uses the images and use the little envelope for whatever she wants. I deliberately did that. <laughs> and inside is going to be some of these stamped images. These are the ones that I picked up at Walmart, I believe. Um, they're cut better, of course, in there. These are just like the leftover and then a few of these um, think happy be happy so those are in there and I just put a little washi tape um here is some Joanne's buttons that I just stuck on there with a dot of hot glue here's a stamp abilities stamp set that is brand new and I just took it out of the packaging and it fits perfectly in there I got that at Hobby Lobby and hopefully she doesn't have this. If she does, she could always share it with somebody else. I don't I don't mind at all. Here is the letter and what I had done on my computer. I typed out my information and uh, put it over some of my coordinating papers. I think it's this one here. And what I did was I made it sort of transparent enough to put my word on there, my words, my writing. And I had to size it so that I could print at least two on one eight and a half by eleven sheet and then um, be able to fold it in just fours and it would fit perfectly in here so you know I have it saved so that I could just print these out and they're all ready to go and it's got all my all my details you know about me and all I do is fold it in four and it fits perfectly in there and it's ready to go so because I my handwriting sucks even you know type uh, printing sucks and I, I don't have like one um, style of writing. I'll either write big, small, or just terrible. <laughs> so instead, being that I know I'm going to do at least, what number? I'm going to do at least seven more of these, and I don't want to keep writing the same thing down. Um, the only thing that I will write, though, is the letter to the person, which will go on those little cards, so I don't have to write too much. <laughs> so there it is, my small projects but it takes me forever to do to me three days for this is too long but it is fun and it does look cute at the end and I do have more to do I've already gotten myself into more of these swaps just to finish the 10 but if I can get faster I might do more so again all the links will be down below to my shop Again, the ATC stuff is all in one section, so all you got to do is go there if you just want the stuff that will fit in here in these pocket letters, or if you just want to do ATCs. And then I'll also leave the link to Natasha Scrapbook Corner, so you can find all these little goodies that, again, will work great with these pocket letters and bottle caps. She sells bottle caps as well, and I do believe she's got pink ones in other colors, so go to her shop. Um, in a couple of days, she's going to be having a sale, so I will be doing another video just for that, so you can, so you don't miss her sale. Um, and that's it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.